Hungarian folk tales. The Golden Lamp. Once upon a time, there lived a poor man and his son. When the boy grew up, his father sent him away to work and earn some money. Off he went and searched for a place where he could work until he finally found a farmer who hired him as a shepherd for his sheep. The next day, his new master handed him a flute and sent him out with a flock to see if he knew what to do. Unlike the other lazy shepherds, the young lad never rested for a minute and herded the sheep and played the flute all day long. Among the sheep was a lamb with a golden fleece. Whenever the young lad played his flute, it began to dance. The boy grew to like the lamb so much, he decided to ask for the golden lamb instead of wages. As night fell, he took the flock home. The farmer stood waiting for him at the gate, and when he saw that none of his precious sheep had gone astray and all had eaten well, he was a happy man indeed. The boy and his master began to debate his wages. The lad said he would like the golden lamb. The master liked the little animal very much, but eventually agreed to let the boy have it because he was willing to work very hard. A whole year passed by. The boy worked well for his master and was given the lamb as his prize. He set off home, but it began to get dark just as he walked into a village. The shepherd boy eventually sought shelter with a farmer who had a daughter who fell so in love with the golden lamb that she decided to steal the animal for herself. It was nearly midnight by the time the girl got her hands on the lamb, but as soon as she touched it, her hands stuck to its golden fleece. The boy woke the next morning and saw the young girl with her hands stuck to the lamb. He did not want to leave the lamb behind, so off he set with the lamb and the girl with her hands stuck to its golden fleece. The three of them danced until they reached the third neighbor's house, where a woman poked her head out and saw the young girl dancing and prancing with the lamb. She rushed outside with her oven shovel and shouted, Get back home with you and stop making such a scene. The woman smacked her with the shovel. I said to do as you were told. But the girl carried on dancing, so the woman hit her with her shovel. But it stuck to her behind, with the woman on the other end. The lamb pulled them both through the village, all the way to the church. The lamb started to dance with the girl stuck to its fleece, who had the shovel stuck to her behind, and the woman on the end. The priest was just returning from the church and scolded them bitterly for making such a scene, but to no avail. The priest took his stick and struck the woman's behind with it and was surprised to see that his stick stuck to the woman's fat bottom and he was glued to the other end. The boy continued to trail them through the village where a soldier passed with his horse. He touched the priest and got stuck too. Then a weaver came out with a roll of linen. He smacked the horse's flank and the linen stuck to it in an instant. Then a cobbler appeared with his hands full of boots. He hit the weaver and cried, what are you staring at? And he too now was stuck to the procession. The boy blew on his flute and the lamb went on dancing with the girl stuck to its behind, the shovel stuck to her bottom, the woman to the handle of the shovel, the stick to her far bottom, with the priest stuck to the other end, followed by the soldier leading the horse, with the linen stuck to its flank, the weaver stuck to the linen, with the boots on his back, and the cobbler at the very end. And the boy just went on marching with his peculiar parade until he reached a town where everyone was in mourning. The houses and palaces were all covered in black, and the men and women were walking about in black clothes. At the edge of the town, the boy began talking to an old woman and asked her what had happened. The old woman sadly told him that the daughter of the king was seriously ill, and no medicine was strong enough to cure her. The doctors all said that if someone could make her laugh, she would soon be cured, but no one had managed to do it yet. The king declared that anyone who could make his darling daughter laugh could marry her and receive half of his kingdom as a gift of thanks. 
Of course, there were many people who all wanted to try their luck. Princes, counts and acrobats from all kinds of nations and nationalities, but no one succeeded. No matter how hard they tried, the princess never even smiled, and they all ended up with their heads impaled on a pole. The next morning, the boy announced that he intended to make the princess laugh. The king was happy to hear the news and asked his daughter to stand outside. The young shepherd began to play his flute. The golden lamb went on dancing with the girl stuck to its fleece, with the shovel on her behind, and the woman stuck to the shovel, the stick on her fat bottom, with the priest stuck to the other end, followed by the soldier with his horse, with the linen stuck to its flank, the weaver stuck to the linen, with boots on his back, and the cobbler at the end of the line. When the princess saw this, she burst out laughing, and that made the golden lamb so happy that it shook everything and everyone off and began to dance alone. And then the girl began to dance, and then the woman, and then the priest, and then the soldier with his horse, and then the weaver, and even the cobbler. The king happily gave his blessing for the shepherd boy to marry his daughter. He gave the weaver and the cobbler royal warrants. He made the soldier his general and the priest his royal cardinal. The woman was promoted to royal baker and the girl became the princess's maid. The wedding feast went on for a week and a day and the whole kingdom celebrated the bride and groom. If the violin strings hadn't snapped, they would all still be dancing.